Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to determinants. CBSE 12th grade syllabus. We have to prove that debt of this matrix is equal to 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square by using properties of determinants. We solved this problem earlier in another way and there are couple of other ways. Today we try to explore a different option how we can solve this particular problem. Now for that our approach is we see here a11 is a square plus 1 then we have a a21 is ab a31 is ca but if I can convert ab into b square and ca into c square and I do r1 is assigned r1 plus r2 plus r3 I should be able to take this common because at the end the answer should be 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square. So it's a little bit lengthy problem but we'll try to solve this way and see whether you like this method just let me know. Okay right now what I will do I'll multiply the second row with a, a b I have to convert that into b square. what I need to multiply a b to convert that into b square so I have to multiply with b by a then only it will become b square so let's do that first we'll write down a square plus 1 a b a c then we have a b we are multiplying with b by a that means I'll write down here R2 is assigned. I'll write down R2 is R2 into B by A and R3 is equal to R3 into C by A. Now if we are doing that then we have to again divide them. So it will be A square by BC right now what will be there in the second row second row will be b square and we are multiplying with b by a so it will be b by a into b square plus 1 and this will be b square c by a when you go to the third row we will have c square and we will have c by a into cb because for the third row we have to multiply with c by a c square b by a and we have c by a into c square plus 1. Now let's try to go to the next step and see what happens if I apply a transformation. In the next step what we want to do we want to do r1 is assigned r1 plus r2 plus r3 what will happen if I do that now a square plus 1 plus b square plus c square so it will be a square by bc will be outside then we will have a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 oh this may not be enough for this so I'll just go to the we will go to the next row where we will write it down so I'll write down here we are doing R1 is assigned R1 plus R2 plus R3 the next step we will have A square plus B square plus C square plus 1 we will have that and next when we do in the second column what we'll have r1 is assigned r1 plus r2 plus r3 if you simplify what you will get is b by a into a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 and similarly you will have c by a into a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 and the remaining 
rows will remain as it is so they will be b square b by a into b square plus 1 and b square c by a c square c square b by a c square b by a and c by a into c square plus 1 now once our operation what we try to do here is to get a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 is accomplished we can go back and whatever we have a square by bc earlier we can again multiply the respective rows so that we can go back to a b b square plus 1 and b c c a c b and c square plus 1 okay let's do that in the next step in the next step we will take a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 as common across so what we will have is a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 into whatever we have with a square by bc and we will actually multiply them separately so i'll just leave the first row if i take them as common i will have 1 b by a and c by a now the second row we will multiply with a by b so that we can go back to what the condition we have so i'll write down r2 is assigned r2 into a by b similarly r3 is assigned r3 into a by c so we will go back to what we have earlier in the beginning stage that is nothing but a b b square plus 1 b c then we have c a we have c b and we have c square plus 1 so whatever earlier we have multiplied we have exactly did in the reverse so that we can go back now we have 1 b by a c by a so what i will do in the next step i'll multiply everything with a and divide with a so that i will get a b c in the first row we will do r1 is assigned r1 into a now so that we can take out that fraction part then we have to divide with a because we are multiplying there so we will have now a b c we have a b c a b square plus 1 c b b c c square plus 1 now once we got it it's only one or two steps we are done with the problem what we will do now we will try to make this element 0 by doing r2 minus b r1 again this element 0 by doing r3 minus c r1 so let's let me write down what we want to do in the next step we want to do is r2 is assigned r2 minus b r1 similarly r3 is assigned r3 minus c r1 when we do that what will happen let's have a look that will give me we have to have a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 divided by a into r1 will remain as it is a b c r2 will be r2 minus b r1 that will be 0 when i go to a2 to b square plus 1 minus b square that is 1 b c minus b c 0 similarly you will have 0 and 0 and you will have 1 now this is pretty easy we are done because there is only one element we can pick this element in this row to find out the debt only one non-zero element it is one into one so the debt of this is now equal to a so our last statement will be a square plus b square plus c square plus one by a and into a a a will cancel that is our rhs what we need to prove so that's how we can prove that the debt of the given matrix 
is equal to 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square. We can do this in so many ways. Our option was we want to get a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 common. So we manipulated the rows in such a way that we can take it common out. Then we multiplied it and divided accordingly so that we can get them into we can have one column with one non-zero element so that we can easily find out the debt and we found out that the debt is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 1 which is what we need to prove using properties of determinants.